Hello world, welcome to In The Ballroom Podcast, and I am your host, fashion designer, author, and entrepreneur, Adrena Martin-Tolbert, and thank you for tuning in. So In The Ballroom Podcast is going to be about all things business, entrepreneurship, wealth building, and just life in general. The life of an entrepreneur, the life of a corporate America working man or woman, the life of a mom, just everyday things, life in general, and we're going to have real conversation about these issues. Not sugar-coated conversation, but real conversation about these issues. Just a little bit about me, for those of you all who don't know me, like I said, I'm a fashion designer, author, and an entrepreneur. I started my business right out of college, actually during the year, about two two months before I was set to graduate, I started my business, and I started off just making jewelry, and here we are now in 2017, I've written a book, and I'm also a clothing designer, which was one of my dreams, and a seamstress as well. I'm also the creator of View Magazine, which stands for Visionaries and Entrepreneurs United. And if you want to learn more about my businesses, just go to my website, www.whoisadrena.com. Now, today on In the Boardroom, we're going to be talking about something that is so important, not just to people in business, but anybody in general. Finance and credit, two very important topics, and I have a very special guest for you all. Her name is Samantha Sheely, so stay tuned. She'll be on shortly. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to In the Boardroom Podcast, and like I just told you, I have a very special guest on the show here today, and we're going to be talking all things finance, credit, and other things of the sort. Her name is Samantha Sheely. Now, let me just tell you a little bit about her. So, Samantha, before I even read her bio, this is somebody that I met. Ooh, I think before I even moved to Atlanta, it's probably about four years ago, probably. And I met her through social media, networking. I was doing an event. I don't even remember which event it was. But either way, I met her through social media. And she's somebody that I kind of just stay connected with. She's a good person. She's very knowledgeable. And especially for her age, like, I couldn't believe how old she was when she told me. Because she does so much. So I'm going to read a little bit from her website. Um... So the name of her business is, she has I, I Finance Academy, and she has a boss business, boss business woman. And CEO founder Samantha Sheely is a successful entrepreneur and CEO of Boss Business Woman and I Finance Academy. She has built a team, and they are looking to inspire and motivate others to exude self-confidence, self-mastery, and brand excellence. She, fin- she specializes in financial awareness, management, self-confidence and dream building a dream brand through lifestyle changes and mindset so i'm gonna go ahead and let samantha get to speak in and just say say hi to everyone hello everyone it's a pleasure to be on the podcast i really do appreciate it thank you so so much for that wonderful introduction kudos to you (laughs) thank you Oh, man. Okay, so let's just jump right into it. So first of all, tell us, how did you get started into finance, finance and credit repair? Okay, so uh, basically what happened for me is that I was actually working in the financial industry. I worked um, first as a, I started off, you know, in the traditional role as a teller. Then I moved up to being a banker. I was a supervisor and then I um, ended off with being a finance manager and I loved, loved, loved what I did. I just didn't particularly care for working for the financial institutions that I were, um, that I was because they weren't for my clients. They were, you know, kind of in the business just to make money and not really help the clients. So that's what really helped me to just really venture out on my own while I was in school learning, you know, a lot about the trade. I just wanted to venture out on my own. So that's what helped me to uh, start the Boss Business Woman I Finance Academy because I want all of, you know, women, men, whoever, to really understand how vital and how important finances are. And it's something that I see is missing a lot of times in our community, especially. So I thought to make this niche for us and really just help us with overall finance finances, um, understanding credit, rebuilding credit, credit repair in the whole. Definitely. That's wonderful. And so I can imagine your many years um, and your experience from working at the bank definitely, like you say, helped prepare you for that. So what... um, What was the turning point? I know now this is what you do full-time. You're a full-time entrepreneur, right? 
Yeah. What so what was the turning point and thing that really or I won't say the turning point, but what was the thing that really made you say, Okay, I'm gonna go full fledged into this, I'm all in, I'm doing this thing for myself, you know, just just to touch on the entrepreneurship side of things. Right. Um the entrepreneurship side is really the same thing that motivates uh the big companies, the big corporations, even the, you know, small to mid sized corporations. The same thing that motivated me to become an entrepreneur was just being able to have the control over how everything worked and not having someone directly that I reported to and, you know, let's be real, the money. The money is much more lucrative Mm -hmm. than going to work for um, a particular financial institution. You know, I I was making fifty thousand dollars a year, and to a lot of people, or to some people, that's great money. Mm -hmm. To me, it was a it was my cap. It was I couldn't go any further. Other than you know, I could get little bonuses here and there, but when you own your own business, you make all the rules, and you start to see how the corporation. Like, let me give you an example. The corporate Corporation that I was working for, the financial institution, was making, um, uh, I think, close to um, maybe like a couple million dollars a quarter, like I think about wow. $10 million a quarter. And, you know, they grossed $1 billion in a year. They had like $1 trillion in assets. So I think one quarter they actually made $1 billion. Wow. And out of that $1 billion that they made, my, my bonus – was twelve hundred dollars. <laughs> wow, out of the billions of dollars they made. Wow, that's crazy. And that just let me know that I was on the wrong side of the chain. Mm-hmm. And so I decided to make a corporation because truly Boss Business Woman is a corporation. It's Boss Business Woman Corporation. So I decided to make me one instead of working for one. Mm-hmm. And that was really my turning point. Like once I saw that in the quarter that they made like a billion dollars, I said, Okay, I'm definitely on the wrong side of this so there I was right and here you are today okay so going back to the finance side of things so since you've been doing um you know your financial planning on your own what are some of the major key or some of the the main problems that you see that people deal with in their finances the I would say the top three main problems that I have with a lot of my clients are really just overall with people and um, finances. Number one, budgeting and money management. That is like just awful for a lot of us because we were never taught in school how there's like no money management class. I mean, I literally go to schools and I'm the one teaching the money management class because they do not have one. I go into the class and say, Hey, I'm your teacher for today. Let's learn money management because that was something that's not taught. It's not taught how to budget. That's why I created a whole like academy because of that. I'm like, wow, this is really not taught. Number two, credit and understanding how to build it, understanding what credit is, understanding how it works. That that sometimes can be even worse than just the money management and budgeting. Mm -hmm. And it can kind of play a role in there too um, with, just making sure you have a, a good credit score, understanding the components. Uh, so I'm really excited because I actually have um, partnered with a major financial company to provide credit repair services that are just off the charts to really help my clients. So I would say that's the second thing. The third thing is investing. Mm-hmm. Many people do not understand what it is to invest or they'll look into a stock and they say, hey, I'll buy this stock for $50, but they have no rate of return in their mind or rate of return on the investment. They don't even know what they're investing into. A lot of times they just kind of go to these jobs and they go with these particular quote unquote financial advisors and the financial advisors are in it to win for them, not for the clients. So mm-hmm. I would say money management, budgeting credit and understanding credit and investing investing just really understanding that those are the big things that a lot of my clients have challenges with okay now let's touch on credit um and definitely and I know even for myself you know becoming an entrepreneur can definitely do things to your credit that you definitely didn't expect because I know (laughs) I mean if we just want to keep it all the way real I know me like absolutely 
definitely. Before I became an entrepreneur, I'm thinking about what my credit, credit score was, seven. and then I'm thinking <laughs> after I became an entrepreneur, I'm like, dang, is this what I didn't know was going to do all this to me? But so I want to talk a little bit about um, what people, and, and even people that, you know, because different things happen, life happens to a lot of people, and, you know, just, just things happen to the credit. So what are some things that people can do, you know, either short term or long term to help their credit scores. Yeah, so with credit, it, it being an entrepreneur, let me just touch on that fact. It can do some numbers on your credit if you don't know how to uh, work it as as most of us don't so the great thing about with me being a certified financial educator is I teach on all aspects of finance so the biggest thing for my entrepreneurs and I want to throw that out there because this is you know a great podcast for entrepreneurs the biggest thing is really understanding business corporate credit and how to maneuver through that to be able to have funding for your business, to be able to grow your business and maintain your business. A lot of times we open them and we don't know um, how we're going to you know, manage the finances, uh, do be able to make payroll, all types of things. And I provide a way for my clients to be able to obtain funding without even touching their personal credit, being completely separated, um, unsecured business lines of credit and loans. I uh, teach you all that I have an entire formula, uh, just a whole portal around that for my clients as far as the entrepreneurs. So that's the biggest thing for them. Now for just any type of regular financial consumer, the uh, big things I would say is just making sure that with credit, you know what's on your credit report, make sure that things are accurate. And if things are not accurate or you're unsure, then always seek and consult professional guidance through an advisor or a specialist. Uh, that That's the biggest thing because a lot of people don't even know how to read their credit reports or just it's so many different things that can really hang you up and this industry of credit repair and just uh, credit period is very taboo for a lot of us because of the way that the uh, credit bureau or the credit agencies have made it to look that we don't understand. So it's really about just obtaining that knowledge and applying it. Okay. Now, and, and still touching on credit, I want to talk about something or get your opinion on something. Cause, um, here in Atlanta, I've heard, I don't know, if maybe this is like the, becoming the popular thing to do, but I've heard people like paying to have things removed from their credit or paying to like, um, you know, st stuff like that. Is that something for people, you know, because a lot of times people, they look for quick routes to get their credit and really it takes, you know, it takes time. So touch on that and just people being aware of a lot of different tricks and schemes out here when it comes to, you know, people trying to help you with your credit? Absolutely. And I'm, I'm very grateful that you asked me that question because that is something definitely in Atlanta, really all of the major cities that we definitely need to touch on. Now, as far as removing items off your credit, that is completely and totally legal and ethical if it is done in the right manner. Mm -hmm. uh, my, myself included as an affiliate with this, uh, with this financial company, that's what we specialize in as far as with credit repair, um, removing and disputing items from your credit. We remove bankruptcies, collections, late payments, um, inquiries, all types of things from your credit, but it has to be legal and ethical in the way that you're doing it, meaning that it's, it's, with, it's within guidelines of the FCRA, which is the Fair Credit Reporting Act, that is in guidelines of um, making sure that everything on your credit is accurate. You know, you are entitled as any consumer to a fair and accurate credit report. And to be honest with you, um, a lot of people don't know that um, four out of five credit reports have errors and in inaccuracies. Oh, wow. So <laughs> is that, yeah, in that manner, you can dispute and remove items that are um incorrect or inaccurate now i know there's a little uh there's things that people get into uh, i don't want to necessarily call it out 
you know, give people any ideas. But there are things that people get into, and that's where you start to get tricky, and you start to get into something that may not be legal and ethical. And I never suggest, just as a certified financial um, advisor, I never um, suggest any of those options because it, it's just not, it's, it's the quick fix and it's not going to get you the long-term results and the longevity of completely repairing and rebuilding your credit. But it is absolutely legal to remove the, any um, items that are not, uh, that are inaccurate or not correct on your uh, credit report. So that's absolutely true. And um, that's more information that I can, you know, give to another podcast or however, mm-hmm. you know, you guys want to receive that information because it's a, it's a lot that we can really touch into with credit. Mm-hmm. Okay. And then pretty much through your finance academy, like if, if people were to sign up for your finance academy and to also be a part of your boss women organization, are these are some things that they will learn as well, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, you know, when you subscribe to my email list, you receive all of the information about everything dealing with finance, everything finance, you will know by the end of it, you'll probably know more than you ever thought you would know. Just a little fun fact. Most people don't even know that, uh, dealing with their taxes, GE, a company that made a billion dollars in 2009 paid zero dollars in taxes. And I can show people how. Wow, that's amazing. It's all about really understanding your liabilities, your taxes, your accounting, and, and all of that. So that's what I'm here to to show because a lot of people really have no earthly idea. I mean, people don't even know how I'm able to do my taxes or what I'm able to do. I have an accountant. Don't get me wrong. I do have an accountant I, <laughs> with uh, mm-hmm. Refund America, but... It's ways that you can really learn to maximize your money and minimize the taxes and minimize everything that you're paying. So that is my my life's goal, to make sure that people are financially savvy and really understand how to be money-wise and what money really means. Okay. Okay, and and tell people, what's the website that they can go to to sign up and subscribe? It is um, www bossbusinesswomanacademy.com that's www.bossbusinesswomanacademy.com um, you can sign up there or if you need a shorter link I have b as in boy um, it.ly forward slash slay your finances so that's bit.ly forward slash slay your finances okay now, um, something else I want to talk about, because I know you do this as well. Um, tell people about opportunities if people want to work from home. Absolutely. So um, I have the honor and the pleasure and the blessing of owning a staffing company as well, offering positions where you can work completely from your home, no cold calling, no um, sales pitch, none of that. You are able to work in customer service, technical support positions from the comfort of your home for hourly pay. Um, You know, it's just the minimum of 15 hours a week that we ask you to work. And um, it's working for a lot of companies that people never would think that they are actually calling from home. It's Fortune 500 companies, office supply stores, cable companies, resorts, cruise lines, vacation, um, just all types of office supply stores, drugstore companies. I mean, pretty much roadside assistance. Any company that you think that you've heard a name from that you've probably heard a name from, Mm -hmm. I guarantee you can work from home with my company doing that so i appreciate you even giving me that platform to let people know about my staffing company thank you thank you okay and for all the people wondering it is legit because you know a lot of people out there they they (laughs) like to ask questions and then think it is a legit company okay yes so yes and tell what's the website for that can they find that on your um same website as well no that is a different company you know i am a a Mm multi-preneur um so that one is actually bit.ly forward slash work home 
balance. That's bit.ly forward slash work home balance. Or you can call the 1-800 number that is 1-866-238-0474. Phone number again is 1-866-238-0474. And when you call or if you apply online, you will be able to speak with the human resources manager. That'll, um, you know, just give you more correspondence, more information, set up an interview with you, and you go from there. Okay. All right. Great information. Now, what's some final things that you want to leave with the listeners about just credit finance and just just anything that you do in general? The final thing that I would say that I would leave for um, today is basically just make sure that you you pay attention to your finances. Treat it just like you would treat, um, you know, your hair. You want to make sure that you you take good care of your hair. You want to make sure you take good care of your house or your car. You oil it. You know, you get the proper maintenance done. You have to do the same thing with your finances. Get the proper maintenance done. Meet with your advisors. Find someone that you can trust um, as a financial advisor, not necessarily on the investment side, but as a financial advisor through anything dealing with your finances, just find someone that you can trust and that you can consult with about different things in your life. Because trust me, the rich do it, the, uh, the middle class, uh, wealthy middle class, they do it. So we need to do it ourselves as well and make sure that we take care of our financial well-being and, and just making sure that we understand everything when it comes to finance so we can put ourselves on a better platform. Okay, great information. All right, and tell the listeners one more time. Tell us your website and where they can find everything about you. Okay, I have <laughs> a bunch. <laughs> right. Okay. So the first website is Boss Businesswoman Academy, or you can go to bit.ly forward slash slay your finances, and that covers everything finance finances. If you want the uh, want to work from home doing customer service, you can go to bit.ly forward slash work home balance bit.ly forward slash work home balance or call 866-238-0474 and someone will be able to assist you one of our human resources team members all right well thank you for all that great information and i'm sure somebody out there a lot of people out there um will be contacting you because you got some really great nuggets and tips on finance credit repair things like that so Everybody, be sure to reach out to Samantha with all of your financial, um, fin- finance and credit problems that you may have. Sign up for her newsletter that she sends out. She just has some really great information overall. And not to mention, she's a mom of two, right? Yes, yes. mommy of two boys. Wow. Lots of work. <laughs> <laughs> and she's doing all this while balancing that and her business. Girl, you got it going on. You got a lot going on. <laughs> Well, thank you. Some days, I don't know. All right. Well, that is all the time we have for today. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in to In the Boardroom Podcast. And like I said earlier, I'm your host, Adrena Martin-Tober. And to learn more about me, go to my website, www.whoisadrena.com. All right. Well, thank you. Thank you.